Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we're changing it up a little bit, okay? So we're going to be reacting to something a little new. Something that I was completely unaware of, despite being a massive fan of the show. I th I've, I've probably seen one or two of these jokes, so we're going to be reacting to Family Guy taking the pish out of us Irish a little bit. I think I've seen maybe seen one of the two of these jokes, but I didn't realise there was a wee compilation. So I'm gonna do my own wee reaction to it now. Again, like it's all a bit light. Like it's all a bit. Of, it's all a bit of crack. It's all a bit of crack, as we say here in Ireland. It's all a bit of banter. So listen, <laughs> there's no offense taken to any of it, no matter what's said. Like I fucking, I, I probably, I'll probably love it nonetheless. So anyway, let's go on ahead and jump right into the video. Went to the University of Arizona, believes leprechauns are real, and since Cleveland already owns a grill. Wait, hold on, sorry. Start that went again. To the University of Arizona. Okay, went to the University of Arizona, and then what? Arizona believes leprechauns are real. And ah. since Cleveland already owns a green suit and a top hat, this is my Easter clothes. <laughs> I'm already laughing. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think I'm understanding fully there. So, so Peter says what? So someone, so I think I may need to turn on the old subtitles for this. I'm not going to lie to you. So, wait, who went to the University of Arizona? Went to the University oh, of Arizona, know. believes leprechauns are real. Okay, so apparently everyone, I'm assuming he's talking about everyone that goes to the University of Arizona, believes leprechauns are real. Well, I mean, they are. I mean, my next door neighbor's a fucking leprechaun, you know what I mean? Like, you, you know, it's pretty stereotypical, like he fills his bowl with lucky charms every morning. He, you know, when we he walks out the door, he tips the green top hat, he's like, well, like how are you? How was your man? And was, I'm like, well, well, lad, how's she going? Ah, she's that. Ah, she's grand. How's the wife? Ah, no bother, no bother, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, everyone from the University of Arizona isn't wrong. They're real, so you know, yeah, pots of gold and everything. Quite stingy about it though. You really have to try and wrestle them for it. Fucking we fellagy bastards, we so they are. And since Cleveland already owns a green suit and a top hat, this is my Easter clothes. <laughs> it gets me. It gets me every time. <laughs> Whoa, a leprechaun. Say the thing. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Gronkowski. Have you any interest in a pot of gold? Oh. Cleveland, this is a very interesting Irish accent. Hmm. So we, we're going for the very stereotypical yet not accurate top of the morning to you. Don't think I've ever heard anyone in Ireland ever said before. But you know what? We're going to go all along with it anyway. And I just want to get a wee listen to this accent of his. A leprechaun! Say the thing. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Gronkowski. Have you any interest in a pot of gold? All you have to do is move to Tallahassee. Wait a minute. This is just a disguise. Ah! Son of a bitch! What the hell? Are you drunk? I couldn't handle the pressure, Stewie. We Irish? We have a deep sadness. Oh, come on, get up! They need you down there! Sure, I'll do. <laughs> We Irish, we have a day of sadness. <laughs> Sick. And then he starts singing Sure, Lure. Oh my god. <laughs> For fuck's sake. He might as well have started singing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I must have surprised, like, oh, Danny boy didn't just come roaring out of his mouth right there, like. Today, we Ireland's top scientists have found a way to convert our entire population to pure energy. Oh, didn't know this. Hey, Michael McLeod's just invented a new kind of beverage in his basement. Hmm. I'm sorry. What? Run this back? Run this ginger fellow back? Michael McLeod's just invented a new kind of beverage in his basement. Beverage in his basement? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is in fact a Scottish accent if I've ever heard one before. <laughs> Not an Irish one, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Hmm. Whiskey. <laughs> Maybe the jam is this. And we're all fighting and scrapping. No way. It's the, it's, the, it's the drunk fighting Irish joke, which to be fair is... You know, you do say the odd buys down the pub, you know, when they have a bit had a bit too much stout their beer in their systems, it's 
and they get away, someone gets away a bit mouthy or there's a wee shoulder every there so often. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That's, that's fair. In fact, this is pure fuck. No, it's water. <laughs> it's fucking it's some weird brand of water that I've never had before. <laughs> Fuck's sake. So, so we're running back, friggin' uh, top scientists of Ireland. We we're ahead of mankind. We are, you know, so advanced technologically, uh, technological wise, and then Which just. Michael McLeod invented a beverage in his basement, uh, apparently, to, according to this Scottish gentleman here. And then, yep, good old Irish whiskey. Fun fact, if you don't, speaking of the Scottish man, if you don't know the actual difference between Scottish and Irish whiskey, um, Scottish whiskey is distilled twice, and Irish whiskey is distilled three times. Just a little fun fact there. If you don't know what that means, um, it's essentially, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not an alcohol fucking expert here, but it essentially means it's har it's harder to take down Scottish whiskey, but it, it's a lot more, like, you'll get drunk quicker, whereas Irish whiskey, it's a little easier, and some argue it tastes better, um, and but it, it takes a little longer because that third... I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Anyway, I don't. Um, someone correct me on that. I'm sure someone will correct me on that. <laughs> no way. Our friendship is over forever. Quagmire is dead to me, like an Irish secret agent. It is done then. Let us drink on it. Oh. 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 Any last words, Agent Double O'Reilly? Can I get one more? Agent Double O'Reilly. <laughs> and then even after he's poisoned, he still wants another drink. It's <laughs> for fuck's sake. Agent Double O'Reilly. <laughs> last words, Agent Double O'Reilly. Can I get one more? One more, love. One more. <laughs> Ooh, I like when Dad talks tough. He sounds like Dirty Harry. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Oh, Mr. Harry. You're really not gonna like what I have to say. Hey, what are those guys doing? Ah, Blood those cut. are the McMurphy brothers. They've been circling that same spot for 50 years. Just daring each other to throw the first punch. Just you try it. Oh, I'll try I can't believe it. Family Guy, I've done the research here, okay? The Mc the McMurphy brothers, like, way down ways, they're still circling the same spot. Wind, rain, sun, whatever, they're still circling. Family Guy creators, how did you know? How? Fair play to you, lads. Fair play to you. Fair friggin' play to you. Like, it's, like, same spot, same tree there and everything. Like, we all just walk past around this lovely wee road here. And then we're all like, well, mate, how's about you? How's the wife? You know, and they're like, oh, they're just circling the exact spot, throwing each other through the first punch, you know, same like old fashioned boxing stance and everything, just feet crossing all this hair, you know, same thing. I just you try it. You'll feel it when I try it. Oh, I'd like to see you have at it. Would you now? This is quite a country, <laughs> Brian. Would you know? You know Ireland has more drunks per capita than people. Oh, that's a negative stereotype. I don't think the Irish drink as much as people say they do. Fuck's sake! For <laughs> the airport's filled. I think this this you could argue this is both Dublin and Belfast airport. I think I think I might have contributed maybe a twenty fifth to this. <laughs> like I think I was pretty sure I was there and I contributed this area right here. <laughs> For fuck's sake! Uh class. <laughs> Fucking airport is filled. That's how we actually power our airplanes. That's our. Um, I'm pretty sure they're like trying to have a joke in our the Aerolingus. <laughs> Um, flights here, but fucking that's actually how we do power, power the uh, Erlingus flights and all uh, <laughs> Irish based flights. Just just constant pour the whiskey down her. It's just solid petrol. All right, internet porn, check. Tissues, check. Lotion, check. Okay, let's go. Aww. Poor fella. And that's why they were such vicious killers. Oh, yeah. 
He couldn't masturbate because his arms are too short. They feared him from Kilpatrick down to Galway Bay Port. Luckily, he found a wife so he could have sex. The non-masturbating Tyrannosaurus Rex. Excuse me, is this McSwiggin Village? Uh, Dibble man is saying Village. Is that a yes or a no? Hi, tis. <laughs> to be fair, a local pub in my city slash town. There is a little pub called McSwiggin, so... <laughs> McSwiggin Village, where the hills are green, the streams are clear, and the sweaters are so thick, even the boniest fingered nun could poke you in the chest and it wouldn't bother you none. Don't be so bold with your dark hair and your proud ways! I can't feel a thing! Come on, Stewie, we gotta find Chris on the return pad before it's too late. All right, let's split up. I'll go search in first class, you go down to Steve. You really see my use a big thing. Irish and Italians. <laughs> Ugh, God knows what I'm gonna find in steerage. Bunch of drunk, fat, pie-faced Irish fools. Oh, well, thank you, too, Brian. Excuse me, have any of you seen a blonde teenage boy? Who's asking? <laughs> yeah, who the hell are you? And I'm the baby! I don't like your cooking. Well, I don't like having to literally empty the farts out of your pockets whenever I do your laundry. You're the one who's always... But I'm the baby! <laughs> For <Frig's> sake. <laughs> They're all just Peters, for fuck's sake. That was a that was a bit of a dig there, Brian. That's a bit that's a bit outrageous though, I must say. Drunk and Irish fools, only like a fucking that's that's how that's outrageous. He's cooking Brussels sprouts and broccoli. It's like an Irish bar fight down there. You're from one town over, so I hate your guts. Now, Chris, it's important you learn about your Irish. Uh, one time over, yeah, one time over might do it. Most of the time, I'd say it's probably the next county over, especially if the All Ireland's in season and there's a few Gaelic or hurling matches coming up, <laughs> and then <coughs> especially when the two teams, like if you have like sometime recently they've have to be they've been mixing them, so things kick off at the Gaelic matches. I will say that things do kick off at the old day. Uh, the old GAA matches. <laughs> now, Chris, it's important you learn about your Irish heritage. Then the life of an Irish man. <laughs> oh, oh, that's why they come to the ribs. Oh, that's why they dig. <laughs> Take away breath for that. <laughs> Ooh, that hurt a little bit. <laughs> that hurts a little bit. I have an Irish woman. That's why I'm dressing up as. To be fair, well, no, actually, no, I have to be very careful about my words here. But I don't think there to be there's actually not that many big Irish families anymore. It's not like it was like well, I say that now, but most of the people I know don't have these big large Irish families anymore. You know, like my my grandmother, like seven siblings. So and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there's like tons of other cultures like that. But like back back when like uh when my parents were coming up and my grandparents were coming up big huge families you, you'd all know each other especially in small Irish towns or wee cities you'd be like oh well I know him her him him Does that like, you see what I mean you, you run into everybody you know so and there's good and bad parts about that you know what I mean but not that many people I know really do go for the full massive family thing anymore I think because it's just a new like it, it's not really the most modern thing you know what I mean but I don't know that's, at least that's from, from what I've seen but there's probably a ton of people out there who still go for it and that's absolutely fine is the one woman no Irishman can resist, Mrs. Potato Head. Ooh, Mrs. Potato Head here! Well, Mrs. Potato Head. <sighs> sorry, guys, sorry, she's just looking. You know what I mean? She's just very, looking very lovely today. I know it's Peter under there, but still. Whew. Whew. Getting warm in my room. <laughs> Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, this isn't. No, this isn't. This wrong, wrong side, wrong side. No, I'll, I'll get myself under control here. Come on, come on, come on. This is YouTube. This is YouTube. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. 
Oh, she's a, she's a, she's a, she's a, oh, sorry. Nope, wrong side, wrong side, sorry. Whew. Any Irish actors around who might be interested in me? You're damn right, darling. Colin Farrell? Well, what are you doing? It's supposed to be Colin Farrell. Get away! Oh, you're <laughs> a feisty potato. <laughs> the back is all mashed potatoes. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you can't do that! <laughs> for f oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, the back is all mashed potatoes now. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, fuck, I think I have a little tear there. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, family guy. You can't be doing that. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's all the Irish jokes. I did, I, I'm not gonna lie, I laughed at quite a few of them. They did get me quite a little bit there. Some were accurate, <laughs> some were just way over the top there, for fuck's sake. But nonetheless, it was, like, it, was all, it was all a bit of banter, wasn't it? It was all a bit of banter at the end of the day, and that's that's it, isn't it? That's all you can ask for. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. You'd all be doing me a lot, massive favour, and hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be trying to do maybe a bit more Irish things in the channel. I'm thinking about doing... A reaction to like the Dubliners a bit more Irish music so you guys can listen to it and see what you think maybe how you can compare it to American country. Nonetheless guys thank you so much uh, I'll see you in the next video. Sangofoil.